A local business owner is sentenced for failing to pay taxes. Today is Friday, August 9th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Tropical Storm Debbie is here. She brought with her thunderstorms and heavy rains that caused flash flooding throughout the mid-state. A flood watch remains in effect until this afternoon. They are merchants of death. That's what Lycoming County District Attorney Tom Marino is saying about drug dealers. At a press conference yesterday, he said he will push for first-degree murder charges against anyone distributing deadly illegal drugs that result in an overdose death. Marino held up mugshots of two individuals who were recently arrested following the arrest of 36-year-old Nicholas Etumnu of Philadelphia and 30-year-old Anthony Stockman of Williamsport. Authorities were able to remove 6,500 bags of fentanyl off the street. Marino said he will seek first-degree murder charges against A. Tumnu, while possible homicide charges against Stockman are under review. Both men remain jailed. Terrapin, the grower and processor of medical cannabis in Avis, wants to open a marijuana dispensary at a vacant bank in Lock Haven. This week, the Woodward Township Planning Board was given an overview of their proposed dispensary. The current estimate is the dispensary can expect traffic of around 75 customers a day. The products offered are intended as medical use only. No edibles or pre-rolled joints will be sold. Some from the public brought up concerns about increased traffic, drivers under the influence, and diminished property values. The Planning Commission will write a letter to the Woodward Township supervisors with their recommendations. Damage was extensive when a truck hauling a pickup truck and two SUVs overturned on its side. The driver from Texas was traveling north on Route 220 and attempting to turn onto Route 287 near Jersey Shore when the trailer started rolling while the truck remained upright. The trailer and all three vehicles upset. The entrance to Route 287 from Route 220 North was closed. For several hours, the driver was not hurt. A Union County business owner will serve 10 years probation for failing to pay taxes. 65-year-old Doreen Hendricks of Northumberland was also ordered to pay over $35,000 in restitution. The state attorney general said Hendricks used at least $84,000 in sales and employee withholding taxes to keep her business afloat. She operated Abrana Marie's restaurants in Lewisburg and Sunbury. The Shaw Park Mountain Bike Skills Park project has received more funding. Yesterday, the Lycoming County Commissioners approved $250,000 in American Rescue Plan funds for the project. The Mountain Bike Park will feature an organized network of trails with difficulty levels from beginner to expert. U.S. Senator Bob Casey has called the imprisonment of Pennsylvania teacher Mark Fogel in Russia an outrage. Fogel was overlooked during the recent exchange with Russia. Casey says he's going to push the Biden administration to prioritize Fogel's release. The Center Grange Encampment and Fair is celebrating its 150th year this month, and they recently received a surprise message from a famous performer. Garth Brooks recorded a short video that is posted on the fair's Facebook page congratulating the fair on its anniversary. Brooks performed at the fair in 1990, just as his popularity began to explode. The 150th Grange Fair in Center Hall runs from August 16th to the 24th. This year's grandstand concerts are free with admission to the fair. And are you looking for something different to eat? In Lancaster, the Rosa Rosa Pizzeria has gone viral for its bomber pizza. It's a half cheesesteak, stromboli, and half pizza. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.